Hello guys, it's Chim's Garden Nature Lover. Welcome back, welcome back. Yes, yes, begonias. Today I made a, um, I would say a decent size Memorial Day plant shopping or early Memorial Day plant shopping. So guys, yes, do you see this? Stunning, isn't it? It stopped me right in my track as I was walking by it. Um, let's come closer. The leaves are quite big, as you can see. I'm going to come here and sh show you guys. Look, look at this. This iridescent literally can land an airplane. Huh? I'm joking, but isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Um, I have a tendency to kill begonias. So since I killed a few and I felt really bad, guys, I did. Um, I did some research. I did some reading. Hopefully, you know, keeping my finger crossed, pray for me out there that I can keep these uh, begonias alive. I purchased three begonias, okay? Check out this one. This one. Check out the iridescent on that. Watch. If I come closer, you guys can actually see how beautiful this leaf is. Not only the shape, the swirl shape like a snail. It's got this beautiful veins and iridescent and colors. And it's got these red fur. You see it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Let's come down here. You see the red stems? And it has all these red little furs on it. Oh yeah, you're even beautiful on the underside, the undercarriage. I have the worst lighting ever in this, in this tiny apartment. Can you see it? Isn't it beautiful, guys? I want to show it to you where you can just like reach out and just like pet the hair. You can touch the hair. <laughs> All right. Beautiful, beautiful plant. So, um, since... The guy told me, the person who I purchased it from said, water it once we bright, bright, indirect sunlight. And I went out and got me a humidifier as well to give it that humidity that I believe begonias love. Okay. Um, my next begonia will be the one that I've been wanting over a year or so. Um, it's called a begonia maculata wittii. I've been searching for this one forever high and low in san diego and i have not found one so i ordered one from hertz online hertz garden so i got it yesterday let me show you how that one is give me one second you see it so i ordered this one again from hertz garden received it yesterday um the leaves are somewhat a little bit damaged, as you can see here. Some tears here, some back here. But um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Do you see the dots on these? Isn't it beautiful? And I love that real deep, dark red underneath the leaf. This one this leaf was a little damaged as well i think this one is a new leaf because of the color but it's a little bit bent right here as you can see right there see it yeah I 
I love it. It came in a six inch pot. I paid $26 for the plant and another nine, ten dollars for shipping. It's all right. It's all right. If you guys have any tips on growing begonias, please leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. I'm not too good with begonias, but I mean, I, I love them and I want to give it another try. Um, especially this one. I hope I, I can do good with this guy. Um, so this one is sitting in my bedroom. It's facing the west facing window with the humidifier on. As you can see, a little bit damage to the top right here. But overall, it's all right. I'm okay with it. What do you guys think? That's a Hertz. Begonia Maculata Witty Eye. Stay there, Leaf. Nope. Okay, I also purchased another begonia from uh, Anderson Nursery. It looks similar to this, but uh, you'll, you'll see the difference. Okay, see it? It's got the spots, but not as big as the, as him, right? Not as big as that one. Yeah, it's still very beautiful and it doesn't have, um, have any red underneath here, as you can see. But it's still a beautiful plant. Four ninety nine. Okay, so I got three begonias. I also purchased another plant. It's a fern from Anderson Nursery. You see it? This one's called the Blue Star Fern. It gives off that blue hue. And I love it when the sun, sun, sunlight shines through the leaves. Can you see it? It gives it this very unique pattern. That's the base. It's a pretty nice sized plant as well. What it looks like from the top. I want to get real close to the leaves so you can see all the tiny veins on it. And um, I also have two more plants that I wanted to show you. One, I believe it's a philodendron, but I may be wrong. It is a rare philodendron. If not philodendron, it's a rare monsteria. Okay. Can you guys tell me what it is? Is it a philodendron or a monsteria? When I saw this today, and it was the only one left, I grabbed it really quick and it's beautiful. Check out the leaves. This is the new leaf.
out to you guys please leave me a comment down below so i know what kind of plant this is i love this long tentacles that's what it looks like from down here isn't it beautiful it was just so healthy i didn't i wouldn't mind paying 50 60 dollar for this one it's very big it's healthy um i purchased this one from my friend the guy in, uh, at swamp meat he said 20 dollars. can you believe it yeah 20 dollars That's what the base looks like. And the leaf's got these flat there, sorry. I don't know, but I know I love it. I love it very much. And I have another plant that I purchased. This one is a pepper. I think it's a variegated between the a variegated peperomia. Um, let me show you this guy. I got this guy at Home Depot. Um, it was only for ten bucks, so I couldn't pass up on on it because it's a pretty good size, as you can see here. A pretty good size plant right and the leaves are just gorgeous I mean there's only a couple damaged leaf but le leaf leaves oh my English my English is horrible today I just love the patterns and the color the variegation on it it looks some look like somebody painted the leaves doesn't it it just looked like it's been painted so it's beautiful I'm going to give an update on my uh, variegated string of hearts. It's doing really well. This guy is such an easy plant to take care of. Um, it's sitting on our north-facing window. I water it maybe once a week. Maybe I let it get go on the dry side, and then I give him a nice water. Um, the more sun he gets, he does get pink like that, as you can see. But there are a lot of whites, greens, and pink. Um, he is thriving. He's doing really well. And these are just some of the plants that I got sitting on the uh, north-facing north window. I want to show you guys this one again. Man, what a stunner. One day, if I have time, I will do another houseplant tour.
real quick. Another um, philodendron. This is the big one. You see how he's all spread out? This is the new leaf that came out. My giant monsteria. Um, I haven't repotted him yet. He's still sitting in that pot that he came in. And um, I'm just waiting to, uh, once we purchase the new house, um, I will go ahead and then repot him and give him a beautiful home to go in. All right. Well, thank you so much for um, joining me on this plant purchase of mine. I hope you enjoyed it. And here's another look of what I got. The blue leaf fern. Peperomia. Begonia. Begonia. Uh, yes. Awesome. And this philodendron, I believe, or a monsteria. And I know the, this one is a rare plant. And then my maculata. Begonia maculata wittii. Please grow beautiful. Please grow beautifully. My Sansevieria. Here's another. This is just half of the uh, living room. The other half, um, again, I'll probably do a tour here soon. Just to give you guys an update. Ooh, one more before I go. Hold on. My uh, anthurium uh, gave me a new leaf. Do you see this leaf right here? So here's the anthurium superbum, I believe. Here's the new leaf he put out. And there's another leaf that's coming. Right there. He's got some dry spots, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And don't forget my whale fin. My string of heart. Well, I just want to say, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will definitely do an update. Um, I do have some epitheliums, uh, but that are in bloom. Um, if you would like me to post a video of the flower of the epitheliums, uh, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I will do another video of that, all right? Have a wonderful, blessed Saturday. Enjoy your uh, three-day weekend. Be blessed, be happy, and go plant a little love. Bye!